Kingdom Hearts back cover originally came out on the PlayStation 4 in Japan on January 12, 2017, and in America on January 24, 2017. It came as part of the 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue Collection. We start the movie with a recap of the events of Unchained up to the Keyblade War, Case of Luxu. We see Luxu with the Master of Masters. The Master summons his Keyblade and gives it to Luxu. Jiriti explains to the viewer that a long time ago, the worlds were all one, this being known as the Age of Fairy Tales, all centered in Daybreak Town. Chiriti continues to explain that the Master of Masters had an eye that gazes into the future, and how he bestowed five of his apprentices a copy of the Book of Prophecies that has the future written in them. Case of Ira On the grassy hilltop, Ira confronts the Master. He asks the Master if what is written on the last passes is true, the Master saying yes. The Master says that if he disappears, he wants Ira to keep the others calm. The Master explains that this world is full of light, and it's comprised of many smaller worlds all connected to it saying that their true light belongs to Kingdom Hearts. The Master also says that the Keyblades are not used to protect the light, and explains last page that depicts the Keyblade War. We then learn that Ira was given the role to take over for the Master and lead the others. Envy was given the role to watch over the others with a fair eye. Ased was given the task of supporting their brand new leader, Ira. Atho was given the role of preparing strong Keyblade wielders for the world after. Gola was given the role of uncovering the mystery of the Book of Prophecies. Luxu watched his companions from afar and disappeared. Soon after, the Master of Masters disappeared as well. Ira tells the other four tellers that there is a traitor among them, showing a darkened Chiriti as evidence, also known as a nightmare. Flashback. We see Chiriti being born with the Master saying that they are spirits. He explains that if a weirder's heart is tainted by darkness, their Chiriti will turn dark and become a nightmare. Back in the present, they are unable to figure out who the traitor is, as all of the wielders in their unions possess a Chiriti. Ira's still thinking that it might be one of them. Ased scolds Ira for placing doubt in them, him thinking that the Master made the wrong choice in picking Ira as the leader. Ira talks about a lost page from their Book of Prophecies, thinking that someone is in possession of this missing page. Whoever has the full book is the traitor. Case of Envy The Master of Masters tells Envy to keep an eye on the others and follow what they do, making sure that everyone gets along. Envy is nervous about all of this, but the Master gives her some advice. May your heart be your guiding key. I say it all the time. You ultimately need to do what your heart feels is right. A few days later, Ased discusses with Gola and Ava about his doubt in Ira's leadership. Ased tells the two of them that he wants the three of them to form an alliance, though Ava states that that is forbidden by the Master. Ased says that he doesn't actually believe that there is a traitor among them, so they should band together and find a way to fight the darkness. Gola agreeing to ally with Ased. Envy then arrives and Ased asks for an alliance. Envy denies this though and accuses him of darkness. Ased thinks that her and Ira are working together. We see Ava at the Fountain Plaza and is joined by Ephemer. Ava wonders why the five unions must compete towards the same goal. She says that maybe they should start to question things and search for answers. Ephemer says that maybe talking about the Book of Prophecy will cheer her up, but Ava refuses. Ephemer talks about a friend that he made today and that they are meeting tomorrow. Ava calls the children like Ephemer her dandelions. Envy visits Ira and tells him about Ased and Gula creating an alliance, this causing Ira to become angry. Envy says that she will try and persuade Gola to end this alliance. A few months later, Gola tells Ased that he's done with the alliance. Gola is saying that he can't trust anyone but himself. Ased argues that Gola won't be able to stand against the darkness by himself. When Gola leaves, Ased says that Envy will regret this. Case of Ased the Master of Masters tells Ased to become Ira's right-hand man and help him push him in the right direction. He also tells Ased that if he starts to think that Ira does not make a good leader, it is Ased's job to step up and take his place. A few months later, Ased and Envy fight which ends with Ased being greatly wounded by Envy. Alva and Gola arrive and they confront Ased with Envy. Case of Gula The Master of Masters takes out a page in one of the Book of Prophecies and gives it to Gula. The Master reveals that Gola's role is to find the traitor hidden among the Foretellers and stop them before it's too late. Gola summarizes that if any of the Foretellers deviate from the roles that the Master gave them, it would mean that they are the traitor. The Master tells Gola to trust no one but himself. Ased manages to get away from the battle and is approached by Gula. Gula tells Ased his role and summons his Keyblade, thinking that Ased is the traitor. As Ased summons his Keyblade and strikes Gola down, Ava arrives to witness the aftermath. She protects Gola from Ased's final blow and Ased leaves. Ased then comes across Ira, who assures Ased that he is still part of the light along with the others. Ased reveals to Ira that Gola possesses the lost page, Ira now thinking that Gola is the traitor. A few days later, Ava confronts Envy about her loyalty to Ira. Ava reveals that Ira had approached her demanding Gola's location. 
flashback. Achirati tells Ava that someone is coming for her and Gola. Ira finds Ava and demands Gola's location. Ava refuses to let Ira go towards Gola and walks away. Back when Gola, he tells Ava about what is written in the lost page. It says that the one who bears the sigil is the betrayer. Gola reveals that he is going to summon Kingdom Hearts so that the Master will return and Gola can ask him about everything that's going on. Ava refuses to help Gola and he walks away from her. Back in the present, Ava tells Envy that Gola is on a mission to collect Lux. Envy says that Ira and Sed are doing the same in order to maintain the balance. She thinks that if unions collect the light solely for themselves, then Keyblade Weirders will turn against each other, which will lead to what is written in the book, The Keyblade War. Envy leaves saying that she will also collect Lux in order to maintain the balance, telling Ava to do the same. Case of Ava the Masters of Masters tells Ava to not get involved in any of the battles and to forget the notion of unions, also to find powerful Keyblade wielders and create a separate organization, then have them fly to another world so that they can keep the light alive. Ava assembles her dandelions and tells them that they will train in a world made of dreams. She tells them that a war will soon wage and that everything will be lost. When the time comes, and there is war, you mustn't fight, but instead you must fly away from here to the world outside! This training is to help you fulfill this crucial task. The future is in all your hands. As is the world's light. May your hearts be your guiding key. Case of Luxu Luxu asks about the gazing eye, but the Master of Masters calls it no name. The Master reveals that the eye in the Keyblade is actually his own eye. He tells Luxu that his role is to pass the Keyblade down to his apprentice, and then him to his, so that his eye can see the future. Luxu figures that the Book of Prophecies is proof of his success. The Master says that Luxu has to travel on alone with no Book of Prophecy, as he doesn't want Luxu to create any temporary paradoxes. The Master then gives Luxu a giant box to take with him and to keep it out of sight, just watch as things unfold between the others. Luxu asks what's in the box, and the Master says that he can never open it. Uh, but why? You'll see. May my heart be my guiding key. And that's it! Kingdom Hearts back cover! While this small movie may not have answered the question of who the traitor was, it gave us enough clues to come to our own decision. I have my own theory, of course, but I won't spoil the fun for you guys. Question time. Who is actually the traitor, if there even is one at all? What do the foretellers Luxu and the Master of Masters look like without their mask and hoods? And the most jarring question of all? What's in the box? Her pretty head. Oh god! We'll just have to wait and see. So tune in next time for the final part of the Kingdom Hearts story, Kingdom Hearts 0.2, A Fragmentary Passage.